Welcome to the Dreamlands. We are among the stars once more for some Homeworld Remastered. 2v2, Nexus. And let me get my bearings here. We are going to call this North. So spawning in on the north side of the map for this 2v2. First up, spawning in as the Hagarins. It is going to be Lieutenant Morningwood. Unidentified uh, I don't recall if I've ever had him in Remastered. I know I've had him in DOK casts. So we will welcome Morningwood as well as Fear. Uh, this player needs absolutely no introduction, so we will skip on through that. He is spawning in as the Vagar. And on the south side of the map, double Vagar team. First up, we have Ty Guy, another player that needs no introduction. Uh, and his teammate over here spawning in also as Vagar, it is going to be Troteot. Uh, this is a player that I have never uh, met before. I've never seen them before. I don't know anything about them. So we will welcome Troteot to the channel. Triple Vagar. Uh, we got a double Vagar team going up against Vagar Hagarin. So hopefully this will be an interesting matchup. Let us check what's going on here. The opening moments tend to be pretty slow in Remastered. However, it looks like both teams have their resourcing well underway. And we do have early scouts on the map for Ty Guy. Quite a few early scouts. Getting a nice scout off across the north side of the map on yellow team's side. Fear also has some scouts up through mid. This is going to be a quick and brutal one, I feel like. These teams are so close. Oh my god. Got radiation clouds on both sides. I think that's what these are. So typically you don't want to move through them. Unless those are dust, so I guess we'll find out. But I think the white ones are the dust, and the orange ones are the radiation. Super, super tight map. You know, I don't think that uh, I've had Morningwood playing Remastered on this channel. Um, I don't think he was in the last game that I played. I could be. Maybe I'm mistaken. That's going to be pretty funny. But what do we got? Research module. Uh, that's about it. It'll be interesting to see what kind of tech we've got going. We do have a double carrier for Ty Guy, unsurprisingly. Morningwood calls it. That guy is getting aggressive. Gonna have that double Vagar carrier. What is Troteot up to? Capital ship facility. Probably getting uh, an earlier carrier as well. Unsurprisingly, double carrier for fear. Nice scouts. Tyguy sees exactly what both players are doing. I like how all of the resources on this map are super close together. Pretty robust economy for both sides. Look at these resources too. Tons of them. Still very few units on the field. Both players, um, Fear and Ty Guy, just getting big scouts off on the opposing teams. We do have a probe for Wood and some scouts for Fear. And then double scouts. Oh, we got scouts for Troteot as well as Ty Guy. Pardon me. Big scouts. A probe coming out for Fear. Everybody content to simply max out their economy at this stage and tech up to whatever play they're going to go for. Troteot with that double carrier as well. Are we going to see the typical double Vagar from Yellow Team? Or are we going to see something a little bit more interesting? 
Last game I cast actually was also a 2v2, and I, I believe it was also Hagarin Vager versus Double Vager. Got here a second carrier for Morningwood, catching up to the rest of the players. Everybody on double carrier. And of course, we have mass assault craft now from, from uh, <clears throat> Thai guy. Looks like he's triple pumping from both carriers as well as his mothership. Fear spots it. He makes the call. Wood has two gunships on the field, supposedly. Um, I don't see those anywhere. They're probably in production. Assault craft coming from Fear. He's probably going to start triple pumping. We'd have a mobile refinery, so Fear being a little bit more greedy than Ty by the looks of it. I don't see a refinery for him. Mass assault craft going to link up with those skulls. More assault craft coming out from Fear. Yeah, he's double pumping those. There they are. It looks like we have gunships on the field from Wood. So this is a good call. Is it going to be enough to hold? He says he's getting collector armor as well. So that should stem the tide just a little bit. Trodiot with more assault craft as well. So unsurprisingly, Vagar team spamming assault craft at this early stage of the game. Looks like he will be moving in for an attack. Fear has a decent number of assault craft as well. Unidentified and gunships probe. on the field for... Um, or wood. A third squad as well. First engagement of the game kicks off on Fear's side of the map with assault craft fighting one another. We have bombers as well for Trodiot. What is that doing? Was he trying to snipe a node on the mothership? Looks like he might have done that. Shut down by Fear with some great micro. Assault craft from Ty Guy taking a poke. See what he can snipe. Did he catch some resource collectors? I don't know. Missile Corvettes as an answer to these gunships from Ty Guy as well. Let's just get a peek here on what everybody's got. So, assault craft and missile corvettes for Ty. Scouts and assault craft for fear, and it looks like straight gunships for um, Morningwood. Assault craft docking for Trodiot looks like he went for pure assault craft bomber, and that got shut down pretty hard by fear. Fear has a shipyard on the field, so that's awesome. Looks like we're not going to just see assault craft destroyer spam from fear at least. More missile corvettes onto the field. I like what Ty Guy is doing here. Morningwood might have a little bit of trouble, but he does have his first destroyer on the field, so this is pretty nice. Gunship destroyer facing off against Assault Craft Missile Corvette. And it looks like for Trodiot, we have Assault Craft Destroyer facing off against Mass Assault Craft so far for Fear. But he does have that shipyard on the field, so we will probably see a battlecruiser before long. The first big engagement of the game kicking off over here. Gunships and that destroyer engaging that massive blob of assault craft. We have a little bit of leg. I apologize for that. Backed up as it is by those missile corvettes. Tie-Dye is going to back off. He did spot the destroyer. He doesn't want any part of that just yet. Fear sees that Trodiot is a little bit slower onto his side of the map, so his assault craft are over here supporting this push by Wood. Really nice fleet that Wood has. I do like this. Mass gunships. Backing up a single destroyer. More bombers from Trodiot. Is he going to try to snipe something? I want to catch this, what he's doing here. Yeah, he's trying to get that capital ship facility by the looks of it. Fear catches the play. He's going to shut that down. Big engagement kicking off on wood side of the map. His destroyer is going deep onto the enemy side of the map. Those missile corvettes 
putting some hurt onto these gunships. What is the answer to this destroyer, though? More missile corvettes. What's going on over here? Trodiot going all in with these bombers trying to snipe that. Did he catch it? I think he did. Did he get that capital ship facility? Looks like he did snipe it. So that was a pretty nice play. Is that going to slow down the BC? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't. I'm not like super knowledgeable on how that works in Remastered. That destroyer just tanking everything right now. But he is way out by himself, and uh, that's not good. His engines are about to get sniped. He's stuck here. So this destroyer is going to have a lot of trouble. It can take quite a bit of damage from these units, but with Wood's gunships getting slowly whittled down, this destroyer has absolutely no support and is just dead in the water over here. The destroyer for Trodiot still hanging back. He's got a second one now on the field, so this one's over here for me. Interesting. So one destroyer for yellow and one destroyer for red, way behind enemy lines. Trodiot is actually supporting his destroyer, though, with bombers. Tons of bombers. That is interesting. Why is he doing that? Probably going to try and keep tech down. Is he going for the capital ship facility? Yeah, once again, he is. So that is an interesting play. While the destroyer pummels the flagship for fear. Fear is in a little bit of a situation here. What do we have? Torpedo frigates from wood. Pardon me, I missed that. So that is a good play as well. Gunships, destroyers, and torpedo frigates. Destroyers for Trodiot backing up his assault craft and bombers. Lots of assault craft now on the field for fear. He is going to clean this up. That destroyer somehow still alive. Forward carrier for Morningwood. Mass gunships, mass torpedo frigates. That destroyer ain't going anywhere. He is now starting to take fire from Trodiot's destroyer, which has come over to help on this side of the map. Triple carriers and a destroyer, a second destroyer for wood. Looks like these are moving forward now that he has some mobile refineries up. Uh, Taigai looks to be in a little bit of trouble on this side. Well, Fear is struggling over on this side of the map. Big push. Taigai abandoned his fight and is now trying to snipe Fear. So it's a 2v1 over on this side of the map. Looks like Morningwood is going to respond as well, bringing the bulk of his fleet over on this side of the map. Look at all of those missile corvettes. Fear is getting absolutely pummeled on this side of the map. Oh... So he lost his flagship. Fear looks like he's a little bit upset about that. Morningwood is closing in though. However, the damage has been done. Fear's flagship is toast. And these missile corvettes are among his resource collectors. His economy is going down as well. Morningwood looking pretty damn strong though. Triple carriers, a destroyer, mass gunships, mass torpedo frigates. But he is streaming out to try to answer this attack on this side of the field while Red simply closes the gap around him. One destroyer goes down, that was pretty cool. This shipyard now taking a pummeling from this destroyer. Pretty solid play from red team. A little bit of a counterattack from Fear. He sent his assault craft in to try to slow Tie Guy down. Look at these, la oh hell yeah, laser corvettes from Taigai are going to absolutely smash this destroyer. Hell yeah, I love these things. Very, very nice answer from Taigai. Heavy missile frigate, interesting. 
dead in the water here, says Wood, and that is kind of true. He is too spread out, and looks like Red Team had just a little bit more coordination with their attacks, and some really nice sniping from Trodiot on Fierce Tech, slowing him down enough where both players could collapse on him and snipe his uh, mothership. Another destroyer pops here from Wood. Wood still has a pretty decent fleet, though. I don't think it's enough, however. What has he got? He's got a bunch of gunships, a bunch of torpedo frigates, and a couple of destroyers. That's pretty much it. What is he facing off against? Fear still has assault craft. They are facing off, though, against tons of missile corvettes, some laser corvettes, some assault craft, and some destroyers. Laser corvettes moving once again. Heavy missile frigates as well. Eesh. Let's just watch these go in, because I love laser corvettes. Oh, man. These frigates are absolutely just going to get smashed. Really, really nice push there from those laser corvettes. So, <laughs> so many missile corvettes. This destroyer just camping right on top. Wait a second. This flagship is right there. Okay, something happened that I didn't notice. So this game is not over yet. I thought his flagship got destroyed. Uh, maybe he cloaked it. Or something. Can he do that? It has been such a long time since I've been consistently playing or casting this game, I've forgotten like so much stuff, I apologize. He is pumping destroyers. Is there a BC on the way? That is the question. Here still has his economy, he still has an army, he is not out of it yet. So he still has a ton of assault craft, he has some destroyers. Yeah, there must have been a cloak here or something. Why can't I see that? A cloak generator. Interesting. Yellow is hanging on. The fighting is absolutely brutal on Fierce Side of the map. Non-stop. These missile corvettes keep swooping in, doing massive damage, and then getting out of there. These assault craft being a huge pain behind enemy lines. Battle line has been here basically the entire game. That destroyer goes down. Yeah, that must have been a cloak. Pardon me, I totally just didn't see that. Another destroyer pops onto the field. What's going on here? Gunships. Oh, look at Lieutenant Morningwood is in big trouble, though. Look at all these heavy missile frigates. Oh, my God. They are cleaning up this side of the map. Pride of Higara, almost toast for Morningwood. Red is probably going to take this game. I mean, it's it's looking pretty certain. Some ion cannons on the field now. Oh, putting big damage, pushing those missile frigates back. Nice control here. I like this play. Torpedo frigates and ion frigates. Backing up that destroyer. Is he going to clean this up? Is Wood going to hold this? He's teleporting his carrier, or pardon me, his uh, his mothership is going to hyperspace, probably over here somewhere. Where is that going? Ah, oh, back here into the dust cloud. Very interesting. That was a good call, though. Really, really nice play from Wood. I do like this. Looks like Yellow Team is holding it, but those missile corvettes are in the back line, cleaning up all of this resourcing. If you're going to split his forces, the front line going to push Red off, even counterattack a little bit, clean up this economy. Assault in the back. Uh, what a battle. This is absolutely fantastic. I thought it was over, and it is far from over. Oh man, those missile corvettes just doing so much damage. Non-stop, back and forth. Lots of ion frigates now. 
gunships trying to protect them, but these laser corvettes are in among the ions. Bad news for wood. Bombers as well. There's the GG. Wood and fear tap out. Too much constant, constant aggression from red. That was a fantastic game. I do apologize for missing uh, the cloak play back there. That was absolutely phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed this match as much as I did, and I'll catch you for the next one.